are stronger safety nets for Singaporeans in a post-pandemic world with everyone playing their part. Finance Minister Lawrence Wong has told tonight's budget forum that his financial plan will help those hard hit by the pandemic and also prepare Singapore for a more inclusive and sustainable future. Heidi Ng tells us more. The post-pandemic economy may be recovering, but inflation is up and so is the cost of living. These were issues brought up by Singaporeans at a budget forum with Finance Minister Lawrence Wong. They came from all walks of life, including a nurse and a business owner worried about the manpower crunch. Mr Wong says tightening the foreign worker policy will make sure only those of the right calibre enter and nudges employers to restructure their business costs. I think we again have to find the right balance so that yes, there may be higher costs because we are paying Singaporean workers more. But the key is to focus on the capabilities of the Singaporean workforce. Make sure that we can command that premium in wages, continue to create value, to be innovative, to be productive. And that's how we can do well in this new economy. Mr Wong says it's also about protecting vulnerable groups, including gig workers. A committee will release its recommendations on how they can be better protected this year. Mr Wong says this new and stronger social compact will mean the government spending more on things like health care and uplifting lower income families. You have to deal with a whole range of issues, including family issues, perhaps marriage issues. Living environment may not be so conducive for the children. So it's quite a complex set of issues that we have to address. And that's why we are looking at how we can better coordinate all of the different help that we provide to these families. But these will need additional revenue and everybody will need to chip in. For instance, through the goods and services tax hike. Those who are better off will also contribute more, although Mr Wong says there will be a limit. If we start to take the, have the attitude that most of the tax burden or everything can be borne by the top 1% or the top 5%, I think they will feel it grossly unfair and very soon you won't have the rich to tax in Singapore. So we always have to calibrate and find a balance and that's why I mentioned that when we talk about a progressive system, it doesn't mean that the tax burden is borne only by a small group of people. It means that everyone contributes their fair share, but those with greater means contributes more. That same idea applies to the higher carbon tax. Mr Wong says everyone must feel the impact of carbon prices and do their part to cut down on emissions together. He adds that much of the carbon tax revenue will also go towards investing in new low-carbon technology and creating greener jobs.